Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Elena Green. I make videos about spiritual stuff, about really whatever I want, about all natural stuff. I am like a Pandora's box of surprises. You never know what you're gonna get from me. What are you, what are you looking at? We're gonna stay right here. You stay right here with your mother. Hey, you break out of that stair, you come back to me. I am like a Pandora's box of surprises. You never know what you're gonna get from me. So click the subscribe button, stick around. You won't be disappointed, I promise. So today's video is in reference to a comment that I got, a really good comment. Somebody asked if I would talk about affirmations. And wow, yes, I would love to talk about affirmations. Affirmations changed my life. They can change your life too. And they're really, really, really important in terms of the law of attraction, spiritual awakening, transformation, and really just keeping a positive mindset and staying, you know, in alignment. An affirmation really is anything that you think or say. Our words and especially our thoughts have so much energy attached to them so that when we're speaking and thinking things, we are basically affirming these things into reality. And most of us are affirming all day long, but many people don't really realize that that's what they're doing. Before, you know, a lot of us become mindful and awake to what we're thinking. A lot of the times you're thinking things like, I am tired. Oh, I hate this job. I don't want to do this. I wish I didn't have to go do this today. I feel like crap. I, this, I, that, you know? And when they're negative like that, what you're doing is you are energetically affirming that into reality, thus making yourself feel those feelings that would be associated with that. So you're basically like reaffirming those negative things into reality with the power of your thoughts and your words and the energy that is with them. So with the law of attraction, affirmations are so important because what you're doing is you're gonna affirm what you want, what you're trying to do the entire time that you're working on doing it. That is part of the law of attraction. That is part of the work. So it's not that you're affirming it to the point where you're just, you know, saying, yes, I am this, I have this, I, that, I, this, whatever it is that you're looking to do. What you do is you use those affirmations to create the feeling. So you're affirming them into reality to the point where you believe them. Okay. So then once you affect your belief system, that is when you get into the feeling. That is why they talk about visualization being so important in terms of the law of attraction. It's not so much the visualization that is so key. It's not so that you can pinpoint every detail in your mind and see it. It's so that you can visualize it to the point where you can feel it. Once you feel it in your heart, okay, now you're working on attracting it. There was a study done sometime. I can't think of the exact study, but if I can find it, I will link it, but I definitely read this. There was a study done that measured the brain waves versus the energy released by the heart. Okay, well the energy released by the heart was way stronger. So what that, what that is telling you is you already know. You already know. The feeling, it's all about the feeling. You can think about it, you can affirm it, you can see it in your mind's eye, yada yada, this and that. But until you feel it in your heart, you feel it. You gotta feel it, you feel me? Once you feel it, then you start to attract it because those magnetic feelings and that energy is stronger. So that's why affirmations are so important when it comes to the law of attraction because girl, you gotta fake it till you make it or boy, you gotta fake it till you make it. That's what that means, okay? You're affirming it into reality to the point where you believe it, okay? You already got what you want. You already got it, all right? You already have all the things you're looking for. Believe that. Believe that to the point where you affirm that into reality with your thoughts, your words, and then it happens through feeling. And then once you get there, baby, you are attracting it. That's how the law of attraction works. So positive affirmations are really, really, really important when it comes to the law of attraction. A lot of people, I would beg to, like, I would honestly argue this. A lot of people are probably in spiritual transformations and in spiritual awakenings because you have asked for it and you have actually utilized the law of attraction to bring it to you. A lot of us were people that wanted to be better people. We wanted to live better lives. We wanted to be more compassionate. We wanted to do better things for the world. Like, we wanted to be better people. So we worked on affirming that. We worked on being that before we actually were that. A lot of us come from darkness. A lot of us come from dark pasts, from things that, you know, none of, a lot of us are not angels. We utilize the law of attraction and positive affirmations to create a reality of which that we wanted, to create a persona that we want. Our identity, man, your identity is so malleable. People say that your identity is illusion. No, your identity created by the ego is the illusion. Your identity created through essence and through feeling and through 
and through God and through God's flow and through energy, that is very real. And you will know when you are in alignment with that true identity, with that true whole human that we are meant to be, that we are working to become here. That's what a lot of this journey is about. So these positive affirmations, like I, I'm gonna talk back to the part where I was talking about being tired and I am depressed and I am this and I am that. You know, so many people get into that as a habit. Those affirmations become a habit, okay? These negative affirmations, I'm talking negative ones right now. And what happens when they become a habit is they will begin to sink down into your subconscious. Your subconscious mind is the layer of your mind that is always working without you being conscious of it. So it's driving your behavior without you thinking. It's the reason you blink without thinking to blink. It's the reason you're able to walk right foot, left foot without actually saying it. It's the reason all your organs work. It's the reason why your blood pump, your heart's pumping blood throughout your whole body. Like your subconscious is fueling all that. So when you have these conscious thoughts that become so repetitive, so habitual, that they sink down into your subconscious mind, what they then begin to do is they begin to invoke feeling within your subconscious mind without you knowing like exactly where that feeling's coming from. So if you're thinking all the time, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, naturally you're gonna begin to feel tired. Well, when those thoughts become so habitual, they're gonna sink into your subconscious. So every day you're just gonna feel tired and drugged down and, and just low and you're, and you're not gonna be conscious of why. And it's because you've allowed those negative repetitive thoughts to sink below your subconscious mind and now you're no longer mindful of what they're saying in your mind and how they're affecting you in the physical. That's how a lot of people get stuck within anxiety and depression without really even knowing that that is what's going on and that is what has happened to them, okay? So affirmations can help a person break out of that. Affirmations can help a person come back from depression. It can help a person come back from anxiety. I know because I did it. I know from experience. Yes, you can cure your depression. Yes, you can cure your anxiety. Those things tend to trigger people very much because there are people who are living miserable lives within their depressions, within their anxiety, and they feel like prisoners. So when they hear somebody say that, oh, you think you can just cure your depression. It's not that easy. Actually, it is. And let me break it down for you why. Okay, you're thoughts can affect your biology. Your thoughts can affect the neurotransmitter production within your brain. If you have negative reoccurring thoughts, they can affect your biology. They can make your brain affect the transmitter production. You can cause your own depression. Thus, you can cure your own depression. I'm not talking about extreme cases of clinical depression where people have depletion of neurotransmitters and problems with neurotransmitter reuptakes and things like that. Like, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a certain kind of depression, okay? And, it, and yes, you can cure yourself of it because you're causing it. <clears throat> you might not be aware that you're causing it, and I can already see my comment box right now. You know, don't let this trigger you. If it's triggering you, there's a reason why. I wanted to kill myself at one point in my life. I self-harmed at one point in my life. I've gone through eating disorders. I have been in very, very, very dark places in my life. If I can pull myself out of my negative reoccurring thoughts, you don't know what my thoughts look like. They were dark, okay? If I can do it, anybody can do it. So don't try to argue my experiences. It makes you look stupid, okay? You can do it. You can do it. Positive affirmations can pull you out of depression. They can pull you out of anxiety, and they can change your whole life, okay? It takes work. It takes work. It's not gonna happen in a day. It's not gonna happen in a week. It might not even happen in a month. It takes time to build that into repetition, to build that into habit, to see what's under the surface of your subconscious, to begin to change those mental habits, okay? You need to repeat your positive affirmations every day. You have to allot time to do that. You have to make sure that you're doing that. You have to give it work. And then they start to become habit. I'm happy, I am beautiful, I love my life. The universe is always working behind the seats for my best benefit. Just repeat these positive affirmations every day. Well then before too long, you start waking up and you just start feeling happy for no reason. For no reason at all, you're just a happy person. Well, why? Because it's become habit. It takes work, but you can do it, I promise. So in terms of, like I already touched on the law of attraction, why positive affirmations are so important because you're just like, you're affirming the reality it's the, your belief system is the energetic foundation of your life, okay? If you believe certain things, you're, you're, you're saying what you believe is possible. Like you are creating the blueprint for what you already believe is possible. So if you don't believe something's possible, you don't think you deserve something, you don't think you can do something, for the, like nine times out of 10, you're probably not gonna accomplish it because you don't believe that you can. 
So it's really important that you believe and that you affirm everything that you already want into reality. And like I said about anxiety and depression, maybe I felt like talking about this because there's some of you guys out there who feel very stuck within anxieties and depressions and maybe the medicine's not helping you, maybe nothing is helping. Well, maybe that's because you have to help yourself and you have to get yourself out and you have the strength to do that. Don't let society make you think that just because you have depression, it's incurable and you can't get rid of it. No, you can. Yes, there are some clinical forms that you cannot just get rid of. I know that, I studied psychology. I'm not saying I know it all, but I, you know, don't insult my intelligence. Like I do know that, okay? But I was a person that thought I was depressed. I had the signs. I, doctors tried to put me on meds. I had a therapist. Like they labeled me. They tried to put me in that category. Well, turns out I was doing it to myself with my own negative reoccurring thoughts that had become habitual that were affecting my whole being in terms of energy because they had gotten to my subconscious. It's that thing where you are just so sad and you don't know why. You're so depressed and you just don't know why. That was my whole life. That was me as a child. That was my entire life, okay? So if I can break out of that with the use of positive affirmations and using God's energy and using nature and using all the beautiful things that surround us, I, you know, so can you. So can you. I'm not sure what just happened with my screen or why that happened, but I was like, oh no, my camera is like, it's full. It's not full. I don't know why I did that. That was so weird. But, you know, guys, get on Google. Listen, Google is such a pal. It's such a good friend. Get on Google and Google how to change your thoughts with positive affirmations, how to rewire your brain using positive affirmations. It'll change your life. If you're willing to put in the work, there ain't nothing that you can't do. Don't you know that? Don't let people stigmatize you. Don't let people throw you in a category. Don't think that you just have to take pills and depend on pills for the rest of your life. And listen, if you do, that's fine too. It's all about what you're happy with. It's all about how you are. If you're happy that way, more power to you. Like do your thing, honey. Live your life. Kill it. Go kill it. But I'm not the kind of person that wants to depend upon a pill to feel happy in my life. I'm not the kind of person that was okay with being told that I was depressed. No, I'm not depressed, there's a reason, there's something here, there's something going on. So I dug in and I wanted to figure out what that was. So I employed the help of God and God helped me figure myself out. And so what I'm saying is if I can use positive affirmations to change my life and to get myself out of depression and anxiety and the dark place that I was in, so can you. And I think that the spiritual transformation, the awakening, is what helps us get to the point where we are able to become mindful enough, to realize, to know ourself enough, and to dig in and to see, and to become just conscious of what, of what we're doing and how we can change it and just how powerful we are in terms of our, how we carry out our reality and how we are basically affecting our being and affecting our own thoughts and feelings. So just understand that you can get out of depressions, out of anxiety using positive affirmations. You can lose weight using positive affirmations. You can stop worrying using positive affirmations. You can become a happier, more compassionate person using positive affirmations. You can do anything you want using positive affirmations because it's you creating your reality. If you're affirming it into reality energetically and you adopt it as part of your belief system, well, your belief system is the energetic foundation of your reality. So if you just change that belief system, get in there and see what is a part of that belief system. What do you believe about yourself? Do you believe you're depressed? Do you believe you're anxious? Do you believe that? Well, you're creating it by believing it. So there's a fine line between understanding what's real and what's going on and actually helping to sustain it. So realize that you don't have to be victim to just all of these labels and all of these things that people say and also understand that I do know there are clinical forms of these mental issues that cannot just be thought away or affirmed away. I do know that. And, um, and yeah, you know, really look into positive affirmations and affirmations. If you really are looking to change your life, it's not going to be easy, but it is worth it. And you can do it. I promise. Like, I promise you. I think you guys know by now that I only talk about something if it's worth your time. You know, I don't really, this isn't about me, honestly. Like, you know, if it isn't going to help someone else, I don't feel the need to talk about it. That's just how I feel. Like, that's why I share my journey. Because I just feel like if, if somebody out there is alone 
like I was and tripping on that and just feeling very lost and sad. You know, I want you to stumble upon my YouTube videos. I want you to find me. And that's my intention. Like with every video, my intention is like, Lord, if somebody out there needs this, needs to hear this, please just allow them to find it. So I'm just asking, like my intention first and foremost is for God to work through me. So for those who wonder how I'm spot on sometimes, how I come out with a video like right when you need to hear it, I believe that's because God's leading me to do that. And that's because I'm open to that. And, uh, and yeah, so thank you guys once again for all of the love, the comments, the likes, thumbs up the video. Like for those who thumbs up the video, thank you because that, you know, that, that just makes me smile. And I really love that I can create an environment where those who are going through these same things and those who are, you know, are kind of traveling down this road, you all have a place to kind of come that's open-minded where you can, you know, meet other people within the comment box and, and share your experience, share your journey, share what's happening to you. You know, all of us sharing our journeys and sharing our love with each other. It's just helping each other not feel so alone. So that's really, you know, why I got on YouTube to begin with. I just felt so alone in what I was going through and I just couldn't fathom anyone else feeling like that. Like I just, I don't know. I don't want anyone else to feel like that. So look into positive affirmations. Know that you can use them to change your life. Know that they are a huge part of the law of attraction. And please keep in mind what I said about the law of attraction and about the part of visualization. I think that a lot of people steer clear of the law of attraction and kind of give up because they think that visualization is such a huge key component. Like I can't visualize. When I close my eyes, I can't see shit except colors. I cannot see things. I cannot create this picture within my mind and like see it. I can't see it. But what I can do is I can imagine, like I can do it through feeling. Like I can do it to the point where I can feel it. Like I can invoke those feelings and that is what you need to do. That is the key, okay? It's not about the actual seeing it. You see it so that you can feel it. That's why the visualization is so important. And the secret doesn't tell you that. So I've got a couple things I wanna talk about in terms of the law of attraction, but those are for some other videos. I love you guys so much. I really hope that this video helped you guys. You know, just keep in mind what I said, just about, you know, not letting people throw you with a label. You know, you are so strong. You are so, 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 so powerful and so strong, okay? Don't let anyone tell you what you are, who you are, what you can do, what you can't do. Don't let none of that, okay? And sometimes you have to just, you know, understand that when people are talking to you and sometimes when they lash out at you about certain things or become triggered by the words you say, it speaks more about them than it, it has nothing to do with you. So, hang in there. This journey is not for the lighthearted, but it is very worth it. And I'm really glad that you're here. I'm really glad that you found me. It's not a coincidence that you did. So I really, really, really can't wait to see what you do in the world, you know, even though I don't know if I'll ever really know, but like you're here for a beautiful reason. Deep down, you know that, you know, so I'm happy you're here. I'm happy you're here. I love you, keep your head up, stay strong, stay spreading the love to each other, stay kind. If you see a piece of trash when you're walking to your car, pick that shit up. If you see someone that needs a door held open for them, hold that door open, even if those people wouldn't do it for you. You know, if someone needs help, you see an old lady struggling to put her groceries in her car, stop what you're doing and go help her. We are the change, okay? We're creating a better world one day at a time, one smile at a time, one mind at a time. That's why you're here. I love you so much. Don't ever forget that. I'll see you in the next video. Lola, you wanna come say bye? Yeah. Lola, come here, Bimmy. Come here, mama, little girl. You say bye. You give kisses. Mm -hmm. Say bye. Bye, guys, I love you.